All right, guys, so Mark, uh, a guy named Mark asked, how do you go about training boxing and kickboxing safely? What he's talking about is brain damage. So uh, it's a pretty big issue in, um, in some of these contemporary martial arts. Uh, you don't see oh, a ton of problems with brain damage in MMA, and uh, it's pretty rare to see problems with brain damage in a lot of uh, grappling styles and, and even you know, the more simple striking styles like karate and taekwondo. But in the contemporary styles, especially boxing, kickboxing, where the head is a huge target and you're trying, your opponent's trying to hit you in the face with full force, CTE is a problem or brain damage. Not as big of a problem as like in football, for example, but um, it's still a pretty big problem. So people are worried about it. So what he is wondering, uh, what Mark is wondering is, is he able to go to, is he able to walk into a gym and basically explain to them that he wants to train and that he wants to spar, but he wants to do light sparring, not hard sparring, because he doesn't want to get CTE. And unfortunately, the answer is no, you're not able to walk into a gym and explain that to the coach. And the reason for that is because a gym owner runs the gym the way he wants to run it. And it is not the student's job to walk in and tell him uh, what he wants <laughs> or what he thinks is best. So if a gym owner has it in his mind that he wants his students to spar hard, if you walk into a boxing gym or a Muay Thai gym and the gym owner wants you to beat the crap out of each other, unfortunately that's the way the gym's going to be. You're not going to be able to convince anybody, you're not going to be able to convince the coach or the, uh, you know, the seasoned fighters there to, to start training differently, especially if you're just some new guy, it's your first time at the gym. No one's going to care what you think. So my suggestion, if CTE is a concern for you, if you don't want to get brain damage, no one wants to get brain damage, but if you're concerned, if you want to spar on a regular basis, and not get punched in the face too hard, what you need to do is you need to explore gyms in the area. Certain gyms are going to uh, focus much more on the pad, uh, pad holding and bag hitting. Certain gyms are gonna focus a little more on the sparring. All gyms will, incorpor will incorporate some sparring. Find the gym uh, that does the lightest sparring that suits you. Some people want to go into gyms and get the crap beat out of them and, and you know, throw bombs and beat the crap out of other people like they're in a fight. Some people are more intelligent like Mark and want to walk into gyms and work a little bit more on their technique and speed and timing rather than on just trying to pummel someone. So the suggestion is explore gyms. Go to different gyms, give them a call, ask them when their sparring night is, ask if you can come by and spar with them. If you go by and you spar with them and they beat the living snot out of you, that is a good indicator that you don't want to go train at that gym, uh, especially if you're worried about CTE. If you go into a gym and you go into spar and they're going nice and easy with you and even a guy who's way better than you is uh, just practicing his timing and distancing and footwork and movement and he's not beating the crap out of you even though he's landed a bunch of punches or kicks, that's probably an indicator that that's the kind of gym you're looking for. I hope I answered your question, Mark. If you guys have any more questions, please, please post them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.